Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Generation Tech, coming to you from the UK this time. My name is Ben. Having seen The Last Jedi yesterday, my brain has gone into overdrive with theories and questions about the movie. One of them is, does Kylo Ren have what it takes to return to the light side of the Force? First, a little recap of what went on in the last two movies. In The Force Awakens, Kylo was kind of struggling back and forth between light and dark, and Snoke makes him kill his own father, Han Solo, to prove his worthiness. It seems a bit of violence against family members is a Star Wars tradition, especially if you wear a black helmet. And now, Your Highness, we will discuss the location of your hidden rebel base. Kylo goes through with this and kills Han, but appears distressed and weakened in his later battles with Rey and Finn as a result. We end Episode 7 thinking that Kylo has furthered his journey down the path of the dark side of the Force, but that it may not necessarily be permanent. In The Last Jedi, spoilers starting now, leave if you don't want to know what happens, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, The Last Jedi plays with this idea of a battle between good and evil going on in Kylo's mind again when he resists firing on the bridge of the Resistance ship because he knows that his mom is on it. And you get a glimmer of hope from this. You get this hope again when Rey talks to Kylo through telepathy, and Rey certainly thinks he can be turned. Just like all those kids who are into My Chemical Romance back in the day, basically 90% of them have turned back into ordinary people people again. Anyway, when Snoke tries to make Kylo prove himself by killing Rey, he kills Snoke instead. Shame. Lovely old man, Snoke. Destiny. So at this point, you really think that Kylo is resisting the dark side, especially when you see him and Rey fight off Snoke's guards together. But then when Kylo, the Vader superfan, starts reciting the script of The Empire Strikes Back, Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy. That's literally what he says to Rey. So you start to realize that killing Snoke perhaps wasn't returning to the light side at all, but it was just Kylo following the old dark side tradition of the disciple craving power and eventually killing his master and taking his place. At the end of the movie, Luke and Leia agree that Kylo is too far gone. In fact, Luke has felt that Kylo was too far gone since he first discovered that Snoke had connected with him back at Luke's Jedi Academy. If Kylo really is that cold-blooded, where does he get it from? If it's not from Leia, it must be from Han. Come to think of it, Han was a pretty cold-blooded dude. Yes, I bet you have. So the conclusion The Last Jedi gives is that Kylo is totally gone and he's just in that kind of emo state of hating everything and everyone, especially Luke. So what's my verdict? Will Kylo turn back around in episode 9? Well, consider this. He's already killed his own father, so I don't think Disney are going to make a character who's done something like that just turn back around and rejoin the light side and everything be fine and dandy. He's got to pay for what he's done somehow. But at the same time, I don't think they're going to make the son of two of the main characters in the Star Wars saga turn truly evil. I think that's unlikely too. So I think there is some goodness buried very, very deep within him, but he's just done too many bad deeds for it to be able to emerge under most circumstances. So I'm guessing that there will be some kind of redemption in the next movie, some catalyst that brings Kylo out of his state of hating everything and pushes him to follow the light, to avert a disaster, for example, or perhaps stop Starkiller Base 2 super weapon. But he's not going to come back and be super friendly and chummy with everyone. And I hope this catalyst is something more profound than just, say, realizing that him and Rey's mothers have the same name, for example. Why did you say that name? It's his mother's name. But I think this could only happen right at the very end, possibly after Rey has already defeated Kylo, and I don't think Kylo will live, just like Darth Vader switching sides right at the end of Return of the Jedi, but then realizing that family gatherings would be super awkward with everyone knowing that he was a Sith Lord for all those years, so just choosing to bow out and die. Luke, help me take this mask off. But you'll die. This would also make sense from the point of view that Kylo is Vader's number one fan. He would want to follow in his footsteps. Remember, it was only after Snoke had criticized Kylo's homemade Vader helmet that he went on to kill him. So guys, what do you think is going to happen to Kylo in episode 9? Leave your comments below. And in the next few days, we will be bringing you a lot of Last Jedi coverage. So do subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. Oh, and if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech. Thank you.